Welcome back, travelers. It is a lot of havoc here, and we are back. Oh, I oh, I was gonna show you that it's a secret. We're back on Project Ozone Two Kappa Mode. Oh, I had a very very productive day yesterday, and I do apologize for not posting a video. But I, at the same time, I don't apologize because I made a video. It got um, probably a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I did not like the quality and the content and it just kind of seemed like all over the place and I didn't really enjoy it and I didn't want to post it for that reason, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did because I still got some stuff done. Like you can see over there, we've actually got a, uh, a much bigger, you know, mob spawner now, but we're going to start up here with this. I got these boots that allow you to sneak on air. I have flight, kind of, sort of. Uh, they're awesome. They're freaking awesome. Yes, they're uh, fire protection, blah, 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 whatever. But night vision allows sneaking on air when equipped. So all you do is jump and hold sneak, and you can sneak on the air. So, yeah, we, we beat the game. We totally beat the game right there. It's over. I can I can sneak on air almost like flying but just not quite yes okay so anyways um because i'm using this as my guide of what to do kind of show you where i'm at here i got quite a bit done i finally made my um my traveler's gloves and i got those all tweaked out with some redstone and so they have haste like speed five on them so like my pick wasn't fast enough already yeah now it's just lightning fast and it's awesome and i love it um, I got quite a bit of the, um, like the immersive engineering stuff done and the, um, uh, mag magnetic craft, magnetic craft, uh, whatever it's called. I got some of those done. And so as you can see over here, I've cleaned up, oh, I cleaned up the area. Oh, I was so excited. No more of this ungodly sized machine over here. It was all so condensed down. Wow. As you can see, it works really well, so well that some of them can't keep up because of this right here. So let me let me get all this put in here real quick so it all can pack down and I'll kind of show you the rig and then we'll we'll get going. All right, so the problem I have is I haven't figured out a way to process the items that don't uh, compact here. And so I get a backlog. So that's kind of a it's not a bad, well, yeah, it's kind of a bad thing. It's kind of annoying, but it's okay. So basically what I got going on, yeah, let me go and grab all you guys too real quick while we're here and put you in. And how about over here? Yep, lots and lots of flint, couple emeralds. Apparently emeralds don't stack or they don't, uh, they don't become uh, blocks. They, they stick as this. Maybe you have to melt them down to make them blocks. I'm not sure. But uh, basically, I moved my cobblestone generator over in the corner, right? And it's uh, pumping into these just... I'm only running two crucibles now. And you can see they're staying full. So I've got these two crucibles pumping lava into my ender lava tank so I can, you know, pump lava up to there. And then uh, the other two go in the generator. And basically just running a crazy metric of systems where cobble is put into here, right? And then some cobble goes over to here. And then... It, some of the gravel goes here and then the sand goes here and the gravel goes there and filters and then the sand goes here and filters and then the dust goes here and filters. Yes. They all go into compacting drawers and once they are able to compact or not compacting drawers, but compactors, um, then it stacks it. And so all of my, well, not these over here. I didn't do these, but everything else is basically just compacted into its form. And as you can see, I've got like iron or aluminum ore gravel. I got 575 or 577. Uh, tons and tons of iron. Uh, what is it? 3089 of the dust and 1580. And then I've got almost 2600 there. So basically double the numbers and that's how many ingots I have of each. Awesome. It's a pretty efficient little system for the time being. But once again, this is totally temporary. Totally temporary. And then, it, it, you know, I just wanted to get it smaller and out of the way. Uh, you saw me make the alloy smelter, but I also made a sag mill because I needed a couple uh, ground items. I was trying to make uh, silicon, I believe, and so I needed to grind up some uh, sand. And then I also made a slice and spice because I needed to make an item filter for the next thing I'm going to show you. And I needed a Z network controller. So, yeah, I had to make the slice and spice. 
Uh, nothing really changed over here. I was making a windmill, and so I was planting a whole bunch of trees, and it killed off some of my cows that I wanted to keep. Uh, they were dying in the leaves or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there, but I lost some of the cows that I wanted to keep. I was kind of sad about that, but life goes on. Uh, I did get rid of all my walruses because they were causing just a little extra lag. And right now with all the, the moving parts stuff I have, all the tile entities that are visible on the drawers and, you know, like the agricast stuff or whatever, my frames can get down into the 30s, which I don't like. I mean, it's 30s not horrible. Let's be honest. 30s not horrible, but it could be much better. And this is where I start to experience a lot more lag because of this over here. But yes, check this out. This is what my wall o junk. I haven't got all the filters set yet, but basically I've got, oh, let's go up and see it. Um, in the back over here, I have both. Oh, I still haven't put those blocks in there. So yeah, this is where I start getting lag. See, I'm down in the twenties now because of all this stuff. Um, oh yes. Cause I made a magnet. Uh, I've been searching and searching for magnets and I found this really cheap one to make. Oops. It was super, super cheap and very, very early game. Nothing more than a compass, an iron ingot. This ring was two pieces of gold and two blaze rods. And the hardest thing to make was this magic core, which is a block of gold, two diamonds and redstone. Very simple magnet to make. It goes in your baubles and works awesome. Now I'm going to take this off so the item collector starts doing its job. But I made a vacuum hopper, sucks everything up, goes right in here. And then all the experience that it's picking up goes in here. And so, yeah, good things. Good, good things. Are you full? No, you're not full. Why are your levels not going up? Hold on. Why are you not sucking in levels? Come on, man. I worked hard. You were. Well, I'll just stand here and get them then. <clears throat> so I don't know what the deal is with that. I'll figure that out. Yeah, there's a lot of levels in there. Come on. Okay, you're going up on your own now. So you are collecting level. There we go. What was causing that not to work? That's very curious. I don't know. But anyways, uh, yeah. So then I am filtered everything out into the, um, the drawer controller right here. And then from the drawer controller, I'm actually pulling out all of the epic loot bags or the loot bags, putting them into a compactor. So then they all turn into the legendary loot bags. And then basically from here, what I want to do is put those into something that can automatically right click and take the items out. I'm thinking an autonomous activator may work. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that might work. And depending on how much time we have at the end of the episode today, that might be the last thing I try to do. But, uh, oh yeah. And then this is just powered by a simple, uh, thermoelectric generator. Really, really simple. Gives it way more than enough power. And yeah, super simple. Don't need to do anything. No fuel necessary or whatever. And so, yeah, this is, this is it for right now. I have to figure out how to filter things out, like things with MBT data, the bows, some of this armor. Um, I want to kind of filter out any armor that isn't like mint condition or enchanted. Maybe, maybe I can just do the enchantment uh, thing. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but why are you in there? Oh, probably because you fell in the thing when I was working earlier. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. This, whoa, I see a potion. What kind of potion? Uh, potion healing. Nice. Healing potion. Sweet. Oh, which is, yeah, that makes sense. So anyway, so that's pretty much what I did. Oh, except for one other thing. I did make myself my first crossbow. I was checking out some recipes. I know every like mod pack nerfs uh, Tinker's Construct a little bit differently. So I was reading around and trying to find the best build for... Uh, Project Ozone, and someone had pointed out the Lumium crossbow was pretty darn good. So I was like, okay, so I made a Lumium crossbow. I put a magical wood binding on it, so I got a few extra modifiers on it. So you can see I still have three modifiers remaining, and I really haven't done anything to it. Um, the only thing that's been is reinforced one, and that was from actually using the bow. That's why my skill's at a zero right now, because I haven't used it since I uh, leveled it up. But... I, I used the glowstone, I got some in here, what are they called? Uh, yeah, the glowstone ingots to make the bolts. And apparently that was like the best thing I possibly could have done. Um, they're awesome. So if I show you, I don't know if you notice it, my attack damage is 135 hearts. 
Yeah, that's called one-shotting anything and everything. So that was a great addition. Thank you to the article that I read about doing the glowstone bolts. I don't know which one it was, if it was the Lumium or if it was the glowstone bolts. Either way, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Sorry, I had to take a drink of water there. <clears throat> so anyways, let me get this stuff put away. And let me throw this egg out. Oh, I'm going to put my hammer back. I don't need that right now. Boop. Boop. Oh, no, not in the chest. Yeah. Boo. All right, don't need the eggs right now. I think I've got like two stacks up here. Or a stack. Whatever. Anyway, so back to this. <laughs> so I want to start working towards getting this hell furnace. But the problem with the hell furnace is there's these red gems that you need. And I haven't seen them anywhere. I don't know if you get them in loot bags or whatever, but there's no recipe for them. And there's no alternative recipe for this. So I don't know what to do about these red gems. I don't know where to get them. I'm hoping maybe they pop up in loot bags and I'll start being able to go in that direction. But for the time being, I, I got nothing there. However, I can make my knapsack, which I have usually have by now, but I'm going to have to turn... Now I'm going to need my hammer back. Um, I need to turn this off so it stops pumping in because I need that to all smelt up. And then, yeah, we can make some uh, aluminum brass and make our knapsack. Although, I don't know. Do I have enough leather? I don't seem to have any leather. Okay. No. Oh, that's right because I spent it on the glove. Never mind. Oh, ha. okay. So no knapsack at the moment. Um, this one right here, I can't do, but I think this is, yeah, it's just to get an extra life. I have enter I can do, but the Xanite gemstones, I haven't seen these, uh, enchanted gravity, gravity, I don't know. And this ambrosia, I haven't got any of that stuff yet. So I can't do that one. Um, I could go a little further here, but this, this is all kind of early to mid game power up until when you get to the refinery and that's very mid game power. And so I didn't want to spend too much time on that. However, one of these unlocks that, which I've already done. And so that would be another one. What's this? Heat cable, firebox cooler. Um, if it's even somewhat intensive crafting, I'm just going to pass on it. But let's see. Heat. Uh, here you are. Um, no. Clay and a salt block. Um, brick and a salt block. Yeah. No, we can do that. Let's do this one really quick. Um, I have to make some salt which is this pot right here and a bucket of water. So let's get five buckets of water real quick and we can do this one quick like. All right, so bink, 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 bink. There we go. And put you in here. Thank you. And you, and you. And there we go. And one more. There we go. And then we get four more. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then we'll be able to make that up. So I think this one actually might be not the salt. Jeez. The water. Water. There we go. And there's nine of those. Cool. And then I should be able to make my salt block. Like so. There we go. And clay. How much clay do I have? Um, no clay. No. Oh, I've got three clay, but no clay bricks. I need eight. So let's go ahead and cut uh, ten in there. Interesting. Uh, let's cook those up real quick while we grab some dust. I'm sure I have dust right here somewhere. Yep. Um, I'm going to need, what, five of them? Yeah, five. Let's make up some bricks. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Fortunately, that thing's pretty quick, so that doesn't take too long. And then I'll be able to make the first part. What was the other parts that I needed to make? I need to make a firebox and a cooler. Let's check those out. So firebox. That is made with more clay, two furnaces, and one of those heat cables. That's easy. We can do that. And what about our cooler? The cooler is with four oh yeah this is simple this is really simple all right cool so let's go ahead and make this one first like so no like so yep there we go 
And then I'm going to grab six more of that clay and throw those in there. And then I can grab the six iron and make that other one really quick like. So it was uh, you in the middle. Was it six or was it four? No, I think it was just four. No, was it? How was that? Cooler. I thought it was right here. Oh, it was in the diamond though. Okay. Um, were you, is this electrical stuff? No, that's iron. And that's iron, yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. There's that one. And then now I just need to go grab some cobble to make some furnaces because I have no extra furnaces right now. So I'm going to need um, a bunch. One, two. That should be enough to make... Actually, you know what? I'm going to need a third. One stack makes seven compression. I need eight, so... There we go. Let's do this. And we'll make our furnaces, and then we'll have that one complete. And then hopefully that'll unlock the other one, which I've already done. So that'd be nice. 14. And how many total do I need? I need 18 total? Yeah. No, I need 16 total. There we go. So two furnaces like so, and then grab that clay and there we go. Like that, like that, two furnaces and another one of these heating cables and boom. Now I don't know what all this does. Generates heat from solid fuel, produces up to three K cal per tick. I don't know. Anyways, we got the heat transfer. So that one's complete now. And then this one, Ooh, it's two-parter boiler. Let's check that out and see what that's all about. Um, but we got the other one done. So boiler, what's a boiler? Is that like a power source <clears throat> that creates steam or something? Uh, machine housing. Oh yeah, I can do those. I don't think I have an LV cable at the moment. I do, but not enough. Okay, let us grab some copper. Uh, that's copper, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And two sticks. And I'm going to need an iron ingot. All right. I already three on me, apparently. So you like that. You like that. And then in a circle. And a piece of iron. There we go. And then I need some of the carbite. One, two, three, four. And I needed some of the brass. No, bronze. No, yeah, brass. One, two, three, four. All right. And boiler to make this guy to make you. There we go. And was it iron? No, wrong one. Yeah, iron. So let me grab a little more iron. Like so. There we go. And another one achievement completed. These They start to go quick once you get them all get them all going. All right. Now I'm curious if this like creates steam. Is that what that does? Generate steam from heat and water. Interesting. Produce. Okay. So I'm assuming this creates the heat. Yeah, that makes sense. So basically you put solid fuel into this. It heats this up, creates steam power and then dissipates heat work better with high temperature. Interesting. I mean, cooler. It makes sense. And then this must be to transfer, um, like heat from one location to another. Interesting. Awesome. Well, I'm not worried about setting it up at the moment. Wow, this chest is just full. Um, my overflow chest. I was making some solarium, and so I have a whole bunch of uh, soul sand in there right now, which is just fine by me. I'm okay with that. And uh, no room for the cobble, huh? Okay. So we'll put you in there. Oh, I need to put my magnet back in my slot. There we go. I can put my hammer away. And now I feel like I'm a little more organized again. Although I don't know what button it is. I thought it was R or, you know, center clicking or center mouse um, clicking. Uh, causing this issue with my inventory. I don't know what's causing it. But these things just start moving all over the place. And it's, it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. I get a little bit annoyed with it. Because like I like my stuff to be, you know, in specific places. And it doesn't want to stay in those places. All right. Anyways, so uh, let's go ahead and claim these loot bags real quick. Or loot chests, I guess they are. Claim and cl 
claim you. Ooh, a half heart, huh? All right. And do I have any more hearts in here? I have a quarter heart, so no, that's not going to work. And chance cubes. I want to do a chance cube opening one of these days. I'm almost at a full stack, but we saw what happened with those freaking jellyfish. Cooking for blockheads. I think I already got that book. If not, I got another one. And a meteorite compass. Not very useful at all. And I have to take my magnet off when I throw this stuff now. <laughs> there we go. Go away. No. Go away. There we go. Into the void you go. All right, cool. So <clears throat> I want to start moving on because I'm almost finished with alpha. And I want to start moving on to some of the other areas. Now, beta, this one's going to be kind of time intensive, but this is actually what I want to do today is at least get this set up because we're going to start making all these seeds, right? And uh, die seeds are going to be the next ones that I want to make. And so it's going to be a whole bunch of, you know, the flowers and stuff like that. Not a big deal, except for it takes a while if they're not 10, 10, 10 seeds. And so that's kind of what I want to get going today. So I'm actually going to grab some dirt right now. I'm going to need just five pieces of dirt. Actually, you know what? I'm going to need uh, 15 pieces of dirt because I don't have 20. And Well, I can make two more dirt real quick. Uh, it's been a while since I've made the dirt. Um, there's a recipe for it. Yes, it's like that. It's uh, saplings with sand and um, rotten flesh. right? And we've got tons of saplings. We have tons of rotten flesh and I've got sand so I can make some dirt real quick like like a so there we go there we go 47 pieces of dirt but what I really want to make is the harvester right no you know what? I want to try the the farming station I believe there's two farming station there's a regular farming station and then I believe there's a modifier for it that allows you to aha I just saw it. There it is. The Agricraft farming station. That's what I want. So it's a regular farming station with farming base modules, right? And so <clears throat> that's probably going to take me a second to make, but that's easy. That's one of those chests with iron. I've made those before. Uh, I'm going to need two of those per. Ooh, interesting. And then conductive iron is simple. Organic capacitor. How do we make that? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so this is this is where we gotta go right now. I gotta make some capacitor seeds. So I gotta go make an octetic capacitor, which I've done, and then make the seeds. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And bam, seeds, got them, awesome. Okay, we are headed in the right direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get together all the materials I need. I gotta make some of this dark steel, which will probably take a minute, and then also, um, make the capacitors. Well, let's see if I can make a capacitor right now because I haven't made one of those yet. Uh, capacitor bank right there. Okay, so I'm going to need four of those with four conductive iron and a piece of redstone. Okay, so let's make up a whole bunch more of those. So I'm going to need my gold back. I'm going to need more redstone. And the copper is easy peasy, so... Let's just grab a whole bunch and get the rest of this junk out of my inventory. I need to make at least two of these. Well, actually, I need to make at least three of these. So hopefully I have enough materials. I should have enough materials. So you like that. Oh, I don't even know why I needed that. I needed this. No. Did I use all my red alloy? Oh, it's in here. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. So one... What was it? Four, uh, four gold. Is that what it was? That's an electrum ingot. I don't need you. Get out of here. Gold. That's what I need. Okay. So copper was in the middle. If I remember correctly, it was gold like this. And then these circled like that. Yes. So I need one, two, three, four. Gotta make more of that stuff. Okay. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and finish all this crafting, and then once I get this capacitor ready to be made, we will head out, and I'll get all the other items that I need as well. So we'll go ahead and take a break here and be right back. All right, guys. So it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. Once you start having it, see, I've already made two here. I just need to make the third one now. Um, once, you, once you have all the materials, it's not too bad. 
it's just you know starting to get the materials now i am running low on redstone right now so that's kind of a bad thing but you know it's not horrible it's totally doable and uh we'll have our last capacitor bank and then i can go make some of the dark steel which i should probably look that up real quick shouldn't be too tough i would assume dark steel is made in the alloy smelter with obsidian coal and iron yeah i can do that easy peasy all right and the capacitor just gave me a level up awesome so you guys like that glowstone in the middle and conductive iron on the outsides right isn't that the recipe it's not like this is it what am i missing here i just did this basic oh redstone in the middle that's what it is okay redstone not glowstone flux bank tier one awesome and oh my goodness i have like no redstone left i'm getting close but i'm almost out okay well oh there we go all right let's get this done and i gotta switch all these around again like so i thought i had it right i just had the wrong block in the middle and now we've got our three capacitors i've got some coal which is good and six i don't know if six is going to be enough to make the dark steel fence hold on is it different dark steel bars bars it's what it said it had to be dark steel bars right i didn't misread that hold on There they are. Dark iron bars. Okay. So I get 16 of them, which is more than enough. And that's what I was just looking at. Yeah. So obsidian, coal, and iron. How much iron do I have on me? I only have one. I need at least six. Okay. So iron, one, two, three, four, five, six. And obsidian. I started that obsidian generator and it started putting out so much. I have almost 10,000. So we're good. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And now I, I took my octetic capacitor and shifted it over so it'd be faster. All right, so obsidian, iron, and coal. All right, so that shouldn't be too long. And then we'll be able to make the bars, which apparently grounds them. Although I'm going to need, what, um, one, six, because they're going to be up off the ground. So I'm going to need 12 at least, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, that'd be perfect to surround it. 16 is perfect to surround it. Okay, cool. Um, so this should be done in a second. Let me go clean out my inventory and let's get ready to head to the nether. All right, guys. So we made it up to the nether, up to the top of the nether. Awesome. 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 So let's see if we can get this thing set up and working. Um, I'm hoping, but you know, things don't always work out as I plan. So I don't know how well this will work. Oops. All right. Your grounded bedrock. You look good, right? Let us grab some sticks. There we go. And let's plant our seeds. <clears throat> uh, this plant cannot grow here. Why can't this plant grow here? Why, oh, why can't this plant grow here? Is it because this all has to be connected? Oh, wow, I didn't even think about it. I have to have a power source. This has to be All right, I'm gonna bring up one of my thermoelectric generators and uh, plug it into here. So, ooh, can I do thermal? I don't think I can do thermal because of the... Oh man, oh, I just thought about, can, can I EP back in? I've never EP glitched back in. Um, are there holes? I think there's holes. I got to find a hole and get back in. All right, guys. So we are up top and after one really silly mistake on my part, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you 
right now. This is what happens when you don't think about things all the way through and you end up in the middle of nowhere having to sneak across the void to get back to your base. So it took a long time to creep across the void using my sneaky boots, but we did eventually get there. It's so close. I can almost taste it, yet it's still so far away when you can only go one block a second, but we'll be there soon enough. And now we're back. And this time I remembered to mark where my portal was down below before I broke it. Wait, did I break it? Yes, I broke it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wow. Um, yeah, so it's been a minute because right as I was getting ready to glitch through, I remembered, hey, I don't have a way to get back. So I had to run back, get some, you know, obsidian and stuff like that, get my flint and steel. So that way I can make my portal. And that's when the fatal mistake of floating out in the middle of absolute nowhere, you know, went awry. All right, so we've got that. I don't need to have this marked anymore, so I can just remove that. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, so I had started setting down my capacitors before I went back through the portal, and uh, then, it, yeah, it, yeah. Little bit annoyed, but it's okay. All right, so we've got our three capacitors here, and I remembered that they needed power, and so I built myself the lava, or I didn't build myself, I stole my extra lava generator that was down there, and then I've got my lava here, and if I turn that, you'll start running, yes, and you are charging, awesome, cool, cool, cool. Now, we want to ground this thing with these dark iron bars, like so. I don't know if it has to be on both sides or not. I mean, that's grounded right there. Like that looks grounded to me. So let's try this out here. Okay. You are oh, gonna need my sticks and my seed. Seeds right there. Sticks, awesome. I don't need the mushrooms. All right, so it's gonna be one, two, three. Hey, I don't need you, right? Okay, cool. And plant the seeds. Uh, this plant could not grow here. Why can't you grow here? Capacitor seeds. Let's read this again. These seeds need power to grow. Uh, best to plant them onto a capacitor bank. They need to be grounded, which they are. Surround them with dark iron bar. Ooh, they might have to be surrounded. Interesting. And anchor those bed to the bedrock. Well, other than the surrounding, we've got that. Uh, they need very bright artificial light. Oh yeah, I did grab glowstone. Maybe that's what it is. I grab the glowstone. So we'll put one here, one up here, and then like that. That's the bright artificial light. Okay, so they're not surrounded. Maybe that's the problem. Is that considered surrounded? No. Do they, I mean, I don't think they have to be fully like wrapped, do they? The seeds are not yet analyzed. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, I only get two back though. Oh, jeez. What's going on here? Um, maybe I just need to go make dark steel and completely surround them? Because I really want to do that. F mm, what? Is this giving off too much light? Is that part of the problem? No, that's not doing it. It says artificial light. It's got artificial light. What's going on here? Come on, work for me. Work for me. Come on. This plant cannot grow here. What am I missing? Okay. Maybe they have to be completely wrapped. Interesting. Um, must be planted on capacitor bank. Bedrock must be below the capacitor bank. It is. Must be surrounded by at least six dark iron bars. Got that. No sunlight. We're good. But light level must be at least 13. We're good. Block level must be air. Oh, block above must be air. Good. Capacitor bank supply. Um, 100,000 tick. 
There's a config setting that will write diagnostics to the log file, enable it. Yeah, I've got the six bars. I've got the light. You know what? I just want to put those like one higher just in case, just in case that might be the problem. However, I can't craft while I'm here. Um, okay, I'm gonna play with this for a little bit. I'm gonna go make some more dark iron bar. It says at least six and we've got that. And this has at least 100,000 RF, so we're good there. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, hopefully, I'm hoping this portal takes me back to where I'm supposed to go because I relocated right above my other portal. So hopefully this takes me home. Yes, okay, cool. Good, good, good. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I guess I'll go check that log file that it says and see what's going on. I'll get some more of this glowstone and yeah, I get, we'll be right back. Okay, so I just added some more bars and it worked. So I don't know what the deal was, but it's good to go now. But this kind of hampers the way I wanted to do my water. Um, let's see if we can still do this, All right? So if I put this tank, we'll say right here, and then we'll do four on each side. Um, I might end up doing more, but for right now, this is just gonna have to work like this. What am I doing? Here we go. So one, two, three, four, and on the side, one, two, three, four, and then I put my sprinklers right here. I know it looks weird because it's off on the edge and I probably could move it in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So this is the whole, f yeah, gotta do that. Um, I'm pretty sure the way, come on, where's my ax? The way the glowstone is, it'll be okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this doesn't, like that one piece of glowstone isn't the reason it's not working. All right, so we're gonna put our tank right here, like that, and then we're gonna push this one further here, just so there's a sprinkler, uh, like right next to each block on both sides. I want as much water as possible. I'm hoping water works here. Um, yeah, and then I need another like building block. Um, a chest will work. There we go. And, uh, oh, my water source block and it's in here. So let's see, I don't know, because you can't have water in the nether, can you have a water source block like this? Will that work? Oh, it does work. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm so smart. Okay, cool. So you're at 0%, but if we start watering you with the watering can, like so, My particles are off, but I swear it's working. 57, 71, okay, they're growing. Ooh, how cool looking is that? Okay, those are the parts I needed. I just saw the parts I needed, so that's awesome. And I believe it grows like a multitude of things, like it's not just one, it, gro like, it grows a multitude of things. Yeah, those are the organic capacitor or whatever. Uh, let me get my clippers and spread these out a little bit. So I can try to get these at least a 10, 10, 10. <clears throat> right? All right, cool. And actually, let's put you there and you there. All right. Good. Good. Oh, we're heading in the right direction here. We are so heading in the right direction. All right, cool. Uh, except you're not supposed to have anything there. What am I doing here? Uh, what am I doing? <clears throat> I need to wait for the other two. Stop it. I need to wait for the other two to grow. There we go. Full grown. There we go. Now put you there. And water. Oh. And I don't know if I have to water or not, but we're watering. There we go. And now these will be leveling up. Right? All right, so you're gonna be different than the other two, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, except I don't know which ones are which. It's gotta be those ones, it's the second ones I picked up. 
right? And these will match the first ones anyway. So yeah. Oh, it was the first one. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm going to take the time to try to get these up to 10, 10, 10 10s and hopefully start mass producing some of this stuff. And then we'll be able to make the farmer. And I think that'll be pretty productive for today because although I, it's only been like, you know, not even quite an hour yet. It's been pretty, it's been a pretty long day. Um, it's been a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns and making a lot of mistakes, but we finally got these up and going and now we will have a capacitor farm that should be awesome. So with that being said, Oh, I gotta put that tank down or it's going to run out of energy. Uh, where's that lava tank? There we go. So can I do you there? Yeah, that works. Cool. I was like those capacitor banks. We're going to get start getting low really soon. All right, they're good. All right, cool. So we're going to grind these out to 10, 10, 10s and uh, see what kind of greatness we can come up with. So we will be right back. All right, travelers. So I just wanted to get you caught up on where I'm at right now. I finally got up all 10, 10, 10 seeds. So we're getting a good yield here, but I'm still waiting on more of these guys right here. I only have three at the moment. But I'm starting to get a couple of these. I've now got two basic capacitors. I've got one of these uh, cores. I don't know what they're for. And then all these things right here, the um, uh, the shells, right? So I've got a whole bunch of those. But to make that farming station that I wanted, I need eight of these, which means I need um, 32 of these, which means I need 32 of these organic gels. Once I get that, we're good to go because um, this one's really easy. I can go make those machine frames in the meantime. Um, I only need two, and that's just, just wrapped with iron. That's easy peasy kind of stuff. And then I got to go make the farming station. Ooh, oh, I, di I didn't think about the farming station. An energetic alloy gear. Okay, we can do that. Basic gear. Okay, that's simple. That's really, really simple. Um, wait, what was I looking at? Oh, yeah, the farming station. The frame we can do, the steel hoe we can do, pulsating crystals, which is pulsating iron, which is easy, and an ender diamond. Okay, that's easy. And what else did I need? Oh, and the Z-Logic controller. Yeah, so I can make all that. Really, really simple. Cool. So now I just got to wait on 32 of these gels. And there's another one. Yay. So we're getting closer. So I'm going to go ahead and keep farming this until I get the 32 gels that I need, which is only 28 away. And then once those are done, we will make the farming station and then we'll be able to start 10, 10, 10 in all of our seeds really, really quickly. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes right. So uh, once I get the gels, I will come back and then we will start uh, get going on that farming station. So we'll be back. All right, guys. So we got enough of the gels and we are heading back. We are going to make this farming station. I am excited because that means I can really start getting going on the Batania stuff and uh, maybe, you know, in the next episode, there's some I actually want to do in the next episode. I want to go to the end. I want to kill the Ender Dragon because I've got my beast of a crossbow and I want to go to the uh, end because I want to start getting going on Draconic Evolution because I want to make these guys. Um, I forget actually what it's called, so I just have to look it up. I want to make this guy eventually, the Enchanted Charmer Dislocation, where you can kind of just like teleport to wherever you want. And to do that, obviously, I'm going to need some, you know, Draconic Wars and stuff like that. Oh, glowing. What? What? Oh, that's easy. Steel, slag. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that'll be easy. But yeah, I want to be able to get that so we can kind of be able to teleport around and not have to worry about like, you know, end portals and stuff like that. So, yes. But anyways, let's get going on these guys. We were making the farming station, not the framing station, the farming station. All right, so I need to make eight of these guys, right? So it means I need to make 32 of these guys. I've got all that and I've got all that. We need to go make some more conductive iron, which is what, redstone and iron? Yes. And I should have gotten a, a decent amount of uh, um, redstone during this time frame, I believe. Oh, you know what? That area may not be chunk loaded. Oh, no, no, no. I may not have chunk loaded that area since I stretched it out there. Oops. Did I? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, goodness gracious. I haven't chunkled that area, so it's probably not going to have the redstone that I need. Nope, I haven't gotten any redstone. Wait, actually, it could have gone on the backside. It could have gone on the back. Haha, there they are. Oh, well, that's some. It's not a lot, but it's some. So let us break down this redstone. Yeah, that'll give us plenty. And I was making some more dark steel. So we'll get that going. And let me grab my octetic capacitor here and put you in there. All right, cool. So we are getting really, really close. Let's check up on our quests because I see ones keep popping up. And I know there's other ones that I haven't really looked at because I haven't looked further into the sections. Ah, see like over here. Ha ha ha. Octetic capacitor. We can claim that. Double layer capacitor. Interesting that that seems to be after it, but whatever. Uh, we can claim that. And yeah, this is the one that we just did a little while ago. So we can claim that. The machine chassis we did a long time ago. So we can claim that. And the slice and splice we'd already done. So I'm going to claim myself an Enderman head because I've got plenty of the others. There we go. What else do we have? Oh, yes. I got this. I, I don't know if it was a drop or what it was, but all of a sudden I had it in my inventory and uh, it said I had the achievement. So bully for me. Oh, and you. Loot chest there. Oh, my inventory is full. Theta. Nothing on Theta, right? No. Oh, yeah, because I already did that one. All right, so I got loot chest. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. Um, oh, wow. I didn't realize I grabbed that much iron. Oh, yeah, I guess nine stacks. That kind of makes sense. Okay, let us open up some of these loot chests and see what we got. Anything exciting while we're waiting? I like loot chests. Nope. What is this? A fleeting stone. Gives high steps. Interesting. Um, essence blocks. I think those can be useful. The enriched alloy I know is useful. I just don't know 100% what it's used for. <clears throat> uh, void transfer pipes. That's it. Not not a great haul. Not a horrible haul. Um, actually, I think I got some of you up here, don't I? Yes. But I don't have any extra space for you. All right. I'm going to go over this trash can and get rid of some of the stuff because I don't need the ears. I don't need the thick eyebrows. I don't need another dirt chest. I don't need another growth amulet. Um, the rest of it, I'll kind of just store. And this is like my throw off chest. Actually, you know what? Got, yeah, I was like, I know I've got more stacks of those. I'm not really sure about them, but I know I had them, so more chance cubes there. And is this the chest that has those in them? One, I know I've got more of these somewhere. I've gotten these somewhere. I know they're useful. I just don't know 100% what they're used for, but I'm trying to keep tabs on them. And yeah, more slough off stuff here. And we'll go and put you in here for right now because I don't know what you do. And then I can make some more room. All right. So we are just going to be waiting basically on, I don't need my fortune cookie anymore. Although I, well, no, I really like that one. The alt F4. I don't need any more silk mesh. All right. Do we get any more cows by any chance? I really need some useful cows. No, I've got chickens and sheep, but no useful cows. Kind of sad about that. I want some useful cows. All right, so let us go get this conductive iron, and we should be good to go. 40 of it. Yeah, that'll work. I should probably not be using all that redstone since I don't have a lot, but, oh, that's how I roll. Um, okay, so, oh, an electrical steel. How did I not notice that? Um, and I only have five. Electrical steel is... What is that? Silicon? Oh, that's an induction filter. That's the silicon and the coal. Okay, cool. I know I've got silicon in a couple of these chests, actually. I just don't remember which ones. That's all silver. Uh, this one has silicon in it, I think. Oh, oh, no. This one over here. That has silicon. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make enough of this right now. Let's grab some sand from downstairs and we'll grind that up and we'll get these started. All right, there we go. 
and I should already have iron in here. So take you out. And then it's going to be silicon and pulverized coal. And hopefully with the flint, it gives me a little bit more. I don't know if it will or not. Nope. All right, cool. I'm going to, I'm just going to get all the crafting stuff put together because this is going to be a bit grindy right here. And once I'm done, we'll go ahead and build the farming station together. And then we'll build the agricraft farming station. And maybe we'll set up our first set of seeds to get them to 10, 10, 10. So we'll be right back. All right, travelers, after a long day of grinding and sitting over, you know, comparator plants and all that stuff, we finally have all the resources we need to make this. All right, so we're going to go down to the QED to make that guy. And then we're also going to have to make these guys in the QED. So let's make these up real quick. What? No, no, no. I have everything. I have everything. Oh, wonder, oh iron. I don't have the iron on me. Okay. I had almost everything. Let me just grab two stacks. I'm going to make sure I have enough materials for everything so we can do this all in one hit. So you, I need, how many of these do I need? Just two, right? Oh, and I get eight from that recipe. Ugh. So actually I made one too many extra, but that's okay. All right. And now I need to make you. What am I missing? Oh, the gels. The gels are in here. There they are. All right, cool. I'm so like excited, overly excited actually. Um, I have the sticks. Iron, oh, and the shells. Hi, yi, yi. Okay, there we go. Now I've got everything, 100%, I know I have everything. Bam. All right, 32 of those, perfect. I, had a I made exactly the right amount of ingots for everything because sometimes I do things right. And now we make those, and that gives me four. Four? What am I short on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did need two, though. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, you. And I got to make you guys again. There we go. Like so. Come on, drop that. All right, cool. And then you. There we go. There's the eight of those. And now eight of those around that, and then we can go make that awesome. We are going to have our farmer in just a moment. And oh my gosh, this has been the longest hour. I say hour in quotes because this has been going on forever. Um, yep. Okay, cool. So the hoe goes there. Interesting hoe. It's uh, two steel ingots with two iron ingots. Thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, Z logic controller and these two crystals. And we will have our farming station. Oh, well, it's time to start mass producing stuff. That's for sure. Because this is taking a really, really long time. Automation needs to come into play for a lot of these things. Uh, the Ender IO metal specifically. But, oh my goodness. So let us take this guy with some energy conduit. I'm going to need some item duct. And some energy conduit. Just to make sure I have everything I need. And what else? Um, oh, and I'm gonna need a whole bunch of sticks. All right, so let's just make a bunch of sticks here so I can make a bunch of um, the friggin' agricraft sticks. That's what I'm trying to say. This is gonna be 64, just to start. It'll be a good start, okay. Now, hopefully this all works correctly and I can start mass producing these. And then I'm actually, I'm using this at the, in the nether right now, just to test it out. But I really want to use it to start getting the rest of my seeds to 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 seeds. So we'll see how that goes. Um, okay. So you're just going to go like right, right here. That looks like a good place to put you. And the reason I'm putting you there is because... You guys are all still good, right? Plant is fertile. Plant is fertile. Okay, cool, cool. I just want to make sure that breaking that one didn't like mess some stuff up. Um, and then we're going to do some energy conduit really simply right there. And it has power, right? And then we throw some crop sticks in. I don't have any control modules. Um, I'm not 100% to see this is totally new and different to me. Okay. Crop sticks go in. Awesome. Oh, I don't have any tools. I need to make a hoe. I need to go make like an unbreaking hoe. 
that's what I need to do. Um, the crop six will be there. And then let me just break you real quick. So I can put the seeds in that I want. So it's going to be planting you. Let's see if it plants. No ho, so it wants to, or no seeds. Oh, it didn't actually put it in there. It just, okay. So you got the seeds. Let us go make an unbreaking hoe real quick. I can do that pretty easy. Oh, we're so close. Or a Maddox. I can use my Maddox. Um, except it's not going to be unbreaking. I got to make a wood Maddox. That's what I got to do. Uh, magical wood Maddox. All right. Magical wood is in here. Yes, it is. Uh, Maddox, a magical wood Maddox is the shovel head, the axe head. Where's oh, the shovel heads in here? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So you, you, and uh, a stick or a tool rod, whatever. So let's go ahead and put you guys back in here. Regular tool rod. Oops, wrong one. Oh, I'm so close. We are so close to getting this. All right, cool. And then we're going to assemble you in here with you, you, and you. Did those, are those backwards? Oh, Maddox. Maddox, Maddox, Maddox. Okay, you were just all twisted up. Okay, Magic Wood Maddox. Yeah, it's got nine modifiers. So let's make up a ton of obsidian plates real quick. Uh, where is my, there it is. And let's swap you out for this guy, right? Nothing's in here, cool. Nothing's in here, cool. Let's dump a whole bunch of obsidian in there. I don't care how many plates we make, we're just making a ton, go. All right, so we're gonna wait for those plates to go up so then I'll have my unbreakable uh, Maddox that we can put that in there. And this thing should start farming and we should be done. So I'm waiting for these plates and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm over here just getting my last few. Uh, I'm trying to get some extra multipliers on it or modifiers on it. So I'm over here just getting experience on my uh, axe. Oh, it, when did it level up? I didn't hear it level up. Well, it leveled up. Cool. I got the extra one. So are you done yet? You are. Aha, six. Okay. So that's a, that's a start. That is a start. So throw you in there. Up to reinforce six. Awesome. And hopefully I'm getting some more going. Uh, I had some obsidian ingots. All right. Almost done. We will have this. Oh, unbreaking Maddox. That'll be awesome. And then I can connect this. That's, oh yeah, that's the other thing I gotta do. I gotta connect that to the drawer system so it pumps out to those. And hopefully this all works. It'd be so nice. It's been such a long day and so grindy with all this stuff. And I'm really hoping that this all works. So we'll we'll be happy. Because I want to be happy. I, I want to I want to successfully finish something that you know we've been grinding at all day long. I know it's only it's been over an hour now, um, recording wise. But it's been close to about four hours of this. Um, obviously, I'm doing other little things at the time or whatever. And, you know, when my, I get sidetracked on certain things. But generally speaking, it's just been a really, really long day. And it'll be so nice to have, like, this accomplished and done. And it'll be so nice. <clears throat> you guys should be about done, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Finish up. Finish up. I need, like, three more. Three more plates. Almost done. Come on. Finish. There we go. All right, cool. Start pumping in. There we are. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Awesome. And I'm just going to keep that going because, well, why not? Reinforce 10. Unbreakable. That's what I want. Wait. Why does it still have? I can't have that bar. I can't have that bar. I don't care if this is a waste of one piece of magical wood. I can't have that bar. That's going to bother me. Oh, it's got luck on it too. Fortune. That's, that could be a good thing. That could be a really good thing. Actually, if fortune's on the pick, I might continue to level this up in the mean. Well, actually I might level itself up since it's unbreaking every time I get to take damage in there. I don't know why. Okay. 
uh, tool. Please tell me this works. Yes, it works. Oh, oh, I hear things. Oh, 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 oh. Look at it go. It's working. I like when stuff works. Um, okay. Now I'm really testing my luck here. Will that, are they still fertile? So I can put the cable back behind it. Plant is fertile, plant is fertile, plant is fertile. Okay, cool. And can grow. Now I can do some item ducks from, ooh, item conduit. Uh, from here, right? Like so, right? Um, I need to disable all these or that's going to bother me. I don't like when it connects to everything. Um, so disable. You're going to be connected because the power is coming through there, but you're not extracting anything. So, um, yeah, you're just power. I can actually go ahead and disable you. Come on. What? Why? There we go. Disable you. That doesn't stop the power, does it? No, power's still good. Okay, cool. And you're going to be... Well, that's going to be a tough one to get to. Oh, no, it is outputting. I just got to be able to change the redstone signal on it. Interesting. Um, I might just throw a redstone torch down. There we go. And you're going to be inputting, inserting on green, right? Okay. Now, how do I... Can I... No. How do I get the edge here? Um, bare hand. Oh, this is going to stink. Um, because I can't get under it. <laughs> okay, we're just going to get a redstone torch or uh, like a, uh, what are those things called? Lever. Something to give it power because I can't get under it because I'm on the bedrock. And so let's do this and then we should be like fully automated down there. That would be so awesome. Um, I need a piece of cobble and one stick. Thank you. And you, come on, there we go. There we are. Lever, awesome. Oh, happy day. And the funny thing is, I only needed this farm really for the most part for, to make the farmer. But this at least will let me see if this whole thing works. Okay, so are you pumping out now? Do you have no module storage? Okay, so they are pumping out. Cool. Oh, I've already got two octetic capacitors. Oh, that's awesome. There they are right there. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's take those and throw those in the other two machines. And I will now call this a very successful day. I was not expecting to get stuff that quickly. That is awesome. That is so awesome. So now, along with the one that I already have in the alloy smelter, I can now put one in there. And I can put one in there. Hey, where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. There we go. And now these things will be like creepy fast. Oh, that's so awesome. And then I need to make uh, an unbreaking axe to put in there. But that'll be it for a future day. Guys, I hope this was enjoyable for you. I, I After all that work, it really is, it feels like an accomplishment. Because now that I have the farming station, I can really get going on the agricraft stuff over here in beta and really start getting some of the seeds going as well as getting all the the flowers for um, a Batania. So we can start getting our Batania stuff set up because I'm assuming, I'm assuming since it's beta, it's really gonna be like the next step. Um, I believe a lot of the recipes are all done with Batania with like the seeds. Like say if I want to make a nether, nether star seed, right? Yeah, it's all done on the runic altar, okay? With, ooh, ooh. Ooh, withers go. Yeah, we're going to have to start making some seeds. I might start getting a, a large farm going. But now that I know we can do it and it works, that is awesome. And we can celebrate. Celebrate by jumping up in the air and partying down. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this is more of what you wanted to see. And I don't know how long the whole episode was. I do apologize for the length of it. But I'm going to do some editing to try to cut some of the extra stuff out. And I'm telling you this after you've already watched, so what's the point, right? 
Anyways, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to, hesitate to hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more craziness like this, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. We've added quite a few subscribers lately, and I'm thinking in the next episode we'll show all the new subscribers for the week. But until then, we are out of here. Peace.